Hi friends, today we're going to be talking about antonyms. Antonyms are words that mean the opposite of each other. So like in the past that we've had synonyms that mean almost the same, antonyms mean the opposite. So we have this little jingle that's antonyms are opposite. So that's kind of, you can sing it to yourself to remember that antonyms mean opposite. For example, above is an antonym for below, and in is an antonym for out. Those words mean the opposite of each other. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a bridge map showing different examples of antonyms. Okay? So as always with our thinking maps, you're going to have to make sure that you have a title. So this is going to be our antonym bridge map. Antonym bridge map. Okay. As always with our bridge maps, it's important to have a relating factor. And that's how the items we have on our map relate to each other, how they are compared with each other. So, our relating factor is, is an antonym for. And remember, the relating factor shows what the line is saying. So this line is saying is an antonym for. We're going to do six today. Okay, so we have the word short. What would be an antonym or a word that means the opposite of short? Got it? Would be tall, right? Because that means the opposite of short is tall. Let's try another one. If I have the word loud, what would be an antonym for loud? It's an antonym, a word that means the opposite of loud. Well, the opposite of loud would be quiet, right? If I'm not in a loud space, probably in a quiet space. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have short is an antonym for tall. And loud is an antonym for quiet. Let's try another one. Front. What might be an antonym or word that means the opposite? So antonyms are opposite. What would be an antonym for the word front? It's the opposite of front. Back, right? The opposite of the front of the line is the back of the line. All right, let's try some more. So if we have the word last, what is an antonym or word that means the opposite of last? First, right? So it's like kind of like front and back of the line. The first person and the last person, those are opposites. Last and first, the words that mean the opposite. Okay, what about this one? The word old. What is the opposite or an antonym for the word old? Would be young, because that's a word that means the opposite of old. All right, let's try one more. Early. What is an antonym or word that means the opposite of early? Late. Right, so antonyms are pretty simple once you remember what it means because they're words that mean the opposite. So, in our bridge map, we have short is an antonym for tall, because remember that's our relating factor, that line. As loud is an antonym for quiet. As front is an antonym for back. As last is an antonym for first. As old is an antonym for young, and as early is an antonym for late. Okay, so remember antonyms, um, antonyms are opposite. They mean the opposite. Okay, so 
Synonyms and an antonyms, you'll kind of see those together a lot because synonyms mean things that are the same. So it's like synonyms almost the same, synonyms almost the same. But antonyms are the opposite. Antonyms are opposite. Okay, but you'll see those together a lot because people talk about synonyms and antonyms of words. So synonyms, they mean the same. Antonyms are the opposite. So this is our focus for this week is antonyms. We worked with synonyms in the past. So remember thinking of words that mean the opposite. Like short is the opposite of tall. Loud is the opposite of quiet. Front is the opposite of back. Last is the opposite of first. Old is the opposite of young. And early is the opposite of late. And of course, if it's an opposite, it's an antonym. All right, so you have a workbook page to practice that skill with, and you can use your bridge map as a guide. Have a great rest of your day, friends.